But like, right. So down like this, get my closer. And this is something I teach in jiu-jitsu. You cross over like that on your ankles like that if they're trying to pull you apart or whatever, just to keep your legs together. You can get wide depending on what side they are. I tend to think of it as strong side or weak side. So like if this is where I'm at like this, this is my cosa, that up around here. And like the opponent's either gonna come from this side or from this side. So if they're on this side, this is my strong side. This is my weak side. If they're on this side, this is my strong side. This is my weak side. And to me that might dictate. So if they're over here, if they're on my strong side, you know, like if I'm cracking, I might crack this way and force them off. So crack this way, and roll out, right? If I'm over here and this is my strong side and the opponent's on this, I might crack up this way and roll out that way. But if this is my strong side and they're over here, they're over here, you know, and they're trying to move or get to the next position. And I'm not a black belt in jiu-jitsu. Karate is my primary discipline. You know, if they're trying to position themselves or whatever, I can roll over like this. Understand? Because their leverage is their leverage is pushing down on me like this. So if I crack up, it's going to force them back and then I can roll out this way. Or if they're trying to change like this, I can use their momentum to roll them over like that. But, you know, that being said, if I'm on my back, and I will actually use my heels as a welterweight, um, they're kick kick to keep their distance, kick, come up, roll out and things like that. And I know some Japanese you did too for rolls and things like that. But again, with legs up like this, up like this. So like that, we have our Kosa. So again, right strong side. Person is coming on from my left side. That's my strong side. This is my weak side. So when they kind of come down, I want this up like this to get in between them. So I have this support here and I can't get around my body like this. And in my head, I have my cosa, so I can turtle like that if I have to, or I can get this up here. I can get this up here. I can get this up here, up here. A you know, combination of the two, up here, up here. So if I'm like this, you know, like that, I have a free hand, one. So, right, that's tapping out. That's like the first thing you should know. It's like this, you know, if I'm up like this, and that's how you crack it. So, same thing on the legs. So I'm like this. I can't do it. Like this. Like that. Like this. Like that. Crack, you know, open like a pistachio. And it's just kind of strong side, weak side. Sometimes there's variations depending on which hold that they're using and which manner. And I can go more into detail, more into that. I need to study more. But so, right, we have this variation, or we have this variation, thing on strong side, weak side, and where the person is. And then, so for like this, right, like, like this, like this, and then we, right, strong side, so we can roll, we can crack while we roll, or, right, this is strong side, or like this, and they're, so they're forced like this. They're not, we're not doing the roll, they're not switching, so we don't have to counter, counter the next move. We can crack like that and force them up like this and roll away and then come up swing. And that's kind of how I do jujitsu defense. Um, yeah, and I just, my gloves, my wrists aren't perfect, even though I know Matsubushiru Karate. Um, and my gloves protect them. So I like my wrist being avoided. And if we get to the point where they're able to kind of get up through here, something like that, and break the arm open like that, and try to like bring it around for an arm bar, something like that, I have that in place. I have that in place. I have that in place if I have to. But I really just would not rather not get to that point. And then when it comes to things like um, knee bars and stuff like that, very, very difficult. And then I feel the same way about you know, the types of footholds or toeholds, we're talking about ankle submissions. It's really, if I'm in that type of position, I can try to do an ankle submission myself, but kind of SOL at that point, um, if they have you at that point in the grappling. But yeah, that's, that's Okami Shotokan, Jiu-Jitsu Defense, and USA Jiu-Jitsu, some of the most beautiful 
stuff I've ever seen in my life, and MMA is 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 very special to me.